have a perfect opportunity to show you guys something. So right here, this is the high spot of our French train. And then we slope it that way, and we slope it this way. So people, people don't understand. That's how subdivisions are built in urban and suburban communities. Your street goes up and down. The low points of your street are where the storm drains are. Well, our hammer drill broke last night before we pulled off the, the job. So coring, so notice how we're sloped. We're sloped, we got good slope, but look at how it filled up with water. So all this is subsurface water. So think about that. You ask, how does a French drain work? Well, when you dig out that heavy clay and you put stone in with a pipe to create a big void, see right here we were corn, we were corn through the sidewall of a foot of concrete on this storm drain catch basin and the hammer drill broke. You can see there's some pieces of the core we didn't get through. So throughout the night, this trench, it still did what it's supposed to do. We dug out the clay. We got it all sloped to here. You see how the water got higher and higher and higher as we ended up down towards, you know, slope towards the storm drain. So that's how French drains work. I thought I'd just take this opportunity. The ground the ground has been really, really wet. With the weather going south, the warm temperatures going south, and precipitation picking up. So this was a great opportunity to show you guys this. So if that storm drain would have had a core completed, all this water would have just ran right out. And we're gonna get our fabric in here, and then we're gonna set our pipe on top of the fabric and then we're going to put the stone over that and then burrito wrap it put the sod back on but I brought a pump and we're going to pump this trench out and then we're going to go ahead and finish this core we, we came prepared knowing, knowing that our core drill gave it up last night Alright everybody, until that next video.